The old Broadbrook Mill burst into flames at about 1.30 this afternoon. Flames quickly spreading through the century-old building, making firefighters' efforts virtually worthless. The whole front of the building here is a total loss. Uh, we're trying to protect the new section, which is down on the uh, south end of the building. I got some more trucks coming in a, another aerial piece down there. Three small businesses were operating inside the building. The rest of the mill was being renovated to become condos and shops. Worker Alan Lazard fears he accidentally started the blaze. Cutting some radiator pipe and the place caught on fire. You said you cut, you cut the pipe though and you, and you turned around and something happened. Yeah, the place was on fire right behind me. He was, he was right next to me too. Any idea what may have caused that? Probably a spark from the rescue saw, I don't know. Maybe a spark caught into uh, paint chemicals and we were trying to put out the put out the fire and it just made it worse and it just started to spread and so we just get out of there as quick as we could you know by 2 30 this afternoon about an hour after this fire started fire crews were virtually certain that this building would be a total loss fire crews also knew that there were people inside when the fire started but they thought that everyone had gotten out okay Fire crews from at least 10 communities ringed the mill, blasting the spreading flames. Authorities began to evacuate neighboring homes. We're presently evacuating the side streets surrounding the perimeter of the building. There's a great deal of thick smoke and there may be some chemicals in there. We don't believe there is, but we're not going to take the risk. The mill had been purchased about five months ago by the Connecticut Building Corporation of East Hartford. One man watched as his small business housed inside perished. You were inside at the time? Yes, we were. All of our people, 14 uh, employees plus uh, two owners, my partner and I. Do you know if uh, everybody got out of this place? Everybody? As far as I know, nobody got hurt at all. Everybody was out on time. Richard! One this afternoon, nearly 24 hours after the blaze broke out at the Broadbrook Mill, and stubborn spots of fire were still erupting. A crane was brought in this morning to clear away some of the debris so volunteer firefighters who'd been here since yesterday could finish their work. I was fighting fire on this side and when the arrow pieces hit the wall on the other side, sent a brick fly and caught me. They took me to the hospital, got a broken nose and 11 stitches, slight concussion. And you're back here today to... I was back here two hours later. I've been here since. It's 1.30 yesterday. At the fire's height yesterday, 200 firefighters from 10 surrounding communities battled the flames. It still looks like the workman with a saw was cutting some kind of pipe upstairs, and I got the uh, state fire marshal, the state police in here now, doing an investigation on it. And uh, once we talk to that person and establish what he was doing up there, uh, I think we can get the cause. The people of Broadbrook, many of whom had grown up around and worked in the 137-year-old mill, came today to see what was left of that part of their lives. She worked. How long did you work? I was there 12 years. I worked there about seven or eight years. And our fathers and mothers before us. It's been our, our whole life, this mill. It's um, the life stay of, of Broadbrook at one time. And uh, it's indeed a very sad event to see. Oh, I put 20 years of my life in there. Oh, boy. The developer, who's been working for a year now to renovate the old mill into space for business and apartments, pledged to the people of Broadbrook today that he'll salvage what he can of their history. We'd like to save as much as we could and then add to that with a complete new structure. The town building inspector says most of the structures which made up the mill will now have to be torn down. Fire officials say they expect that despite their efforts, the mill that to many was Broadbrook will smolder into the weekend. Brian Garnett, Channel 3 Eyewitness News, Broadbrook.